Connor Ball was an honor student at Exeter High School. Baseball was one of his passions, traveling to 21 of 30 Major League Baseball parks, but of course, his heart was always at Fenway. He uh, loved the Red Sox, anything Red Sox. Connor had dreams of becoming a filmmaker one day, dreams that faded away on October 24th, 2011. I went and got the boys pizza and brought it back to them. I thought they were all set. I went off to my board meeting and as soon as I left, my phone acted really weird. And then I started getting these strange phone messages. And um, while I was gone, he had taken his life. Connor was just 14. I often wonder who he would be today, you know? And, and um, I just miss him a lot, but he was a good boy. I'm glad I had the 14 years that I had with him. Jason Dickey was a graduate of Merrimack Valley High School, a hard worker and valued team member of Market Basket. He loved music and cars, and as his mom says, he had an unparalleled sense of fashion. He definitely did. He believed for dressing where you want to go, not for where you are. Nice. Yep, absolutely. He did have a good fashion sense. But above all, Jason was a family man, someone with a true heart of gold. I think of just how caring and kind he was. He was he was a little brother. He had three older siblings. Um, he was an uncle at a young age, and he was an amazing uncle, a uh, great son, and, you know, definitely just one of those all-around good kids. September 14th, 2017, Martha was in Iowa for business when her phone rang. Jason did not show up to work. I immediately reached out to my husband to let him know and started to book flights to, to get home because I knew something was wrong. And... Um, by the time I got to um, Chicago O'Hare, I was notified that Jason had died, that he had taken his life. Jason was 19. Tara and Martha, once strangers, now bound together by their son's deaths. It's odd because when you when you meet someone who has experienced the same kind of loss that you have, it, it sort of brings this comfort to you. But at the same time, you're just so sad that they feel what you feel. Um, it's, it's an unfortunate club to be in. The two mothers are standing at the forefront of suicide prevention, spearheading a bill that requires faculty and staff of state schools to go through training so they can identify and respond to signs of suicidal risk before it's too late. Governor Sununu recently signed it into law. Thinking through, you know, what are some things that maybe Jason could have done differently? I was traveling, you know, could he have reached out to a guidance counselor if, if he had known that they were trained in that? The two families have also created foundations and scholarships and participated in countless suicide prevention walks and speaking engagements. I always feel like if it's one life and if we don't even know about that life, to me that, t that ties it all back to Jason and it, and it just helps me to to kind of live a little bit in his name and memory. You know, I don't want Connor to re be remembered because he died by suicide, but his death can and will and has saved other lives. For Project Community, Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.